I'm wondering what your reception of both your respective companies has been within the green industry, or if you guys have made inroads into it. In a lot of sense, I, I see like the green industry looking at something like Mint Green or Wise Mining and saying, you guys are just kind of putting lipstick on a pig because they don't like Bitcoin mining at all. And they're like, you guys are just trying to fix the problem a little bit by using excess heat for, for some other reason to try to, to fix uh, whatever that is. So I'm wondering if you guys have any reception to the green industry, if they've been proponents of any uh, concepts like you guys are pushing forward. And uh, yeah, I would just like to, to hear some thoughts from that. Colin, I'll start with you. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're fighting. Uh, so, so we certainly have. Um, and uh, it, it is an uphill battle at times. Um, first, like we have gone with the with the angle of you have to sell what Bitcoin provides first, right? So like you have to understand that like Bitcoin is providing banking to the unbanked. Bitcoin is providing monetary freedom. Bitcoin is, you know, a it's sort of running counter to an inflationary system. Uh, which is like inherently puts everyone on a treadmill and is highly, highly consumptive. And so the pitch kind of starts there. Like Bitcoin does good things and we help them do things, good things greener. Um, Mink Green entered a, a like open uh, startup pitch competition uh, some, some months ago. Uh, it took place over six months and we ended up actually taking, this is, this is not like industry specific, this was not, um, these people really had no preference to industry. And we actually won in the category of sustainability as a mining company, which was insane. So this is the next stream, uh, it was next stream startup competition, uh, which is uh, which was held over on, uh, on Vancouver Island and uh, has had huge effect for our company. I mean, essentially, uh, we, you know, we ended up raising from just that group about $1.5 million in equity investment. So, uh, it was, it was nice and, and it was hugely, um, it was just very gratifying to see that they, the lights sort of went on about, about Bitcoin as well. And then from there they could see that, you know, this, this, you know, supplants say coal mining in China at the time, which is not really happening so much, but basically. The mining industry itself is competitive. If you can be more competitive, you're pushing out least less competitive groups, and those generally tend to be towards like thermal or petrochemical. So uh, it's competitive on that level. Um, for us, I mean, for natural gas, like for the citywide use, uh, for every megawatt we have, we are keeping 1,700 ton metric tons of carbon dioxide out of the air, uh, which is you know significant for GHG. And we're basically the lowest cost uh, provider of zero carbon heat. Yeah, that's the one right there. Some of the discussions we were having in the past were basically like, it started to start with, well, wouldn't it be just easier? Like we're in a bubble like here, right? Like we are kind of uh, ahead of the adoption curve a little bit here. Uh, you'll hear things like, well, you know, wouldn't this problem be solved if there was just no cryptocurrency and no Bitcoin? And it's like, like that, that has to be the answer your question. The question you're answering first and you have to be like, very calm and, and humble about it because that is an earnest thought for many people. Um, but I, we like to go a step further than sort of what you're describing there, Zach, where you're saying, you know, like, doesn't really matter where the energy comes from. So like we, we are targeting very high energy, although we're not vertically integrated into power production, we're targeting extremely high uh, green and clean energy on the front end and then converting that heat to something usable at a, at a very high percentage as well. So we want to be sort of the extreme case of, of green mining where you could actually argue that, you know, the energy is being used twice and it's green to begin with, you know, maybe it's carbon negative. I mean, like it is providing a service uh, to, you know, uh, millions of people who use Bitcoin. So um, that's kind of where we are. We're fortunate where we started here, uh, where the energy mix is 97% hydro out of the grid. Um, but we're going to be targeting similar type uh, jurisdictions uh, moving forward uh, here and in Europe. 